Hello everyone, Snipe Trader here. Um, today is Wednesday, February 20. Uh, I have a small announcement. I'm going to be launching a website. It's still under construction, but it will be underneath the description below. Uh, it will include my watch list, uh, trading recap videos, and uh, my, the trading strategies I use for my day to day. Uh, and it will be free for all. Um, so, Today I had uh, I was like zero for four on my trades today, and it was just on one ticker. And overall, I'm down two hundred thirty-five. So the first trade or setup I saw was um, on KNDI was um, this pre-market high uh, support here. So it was bouncing. It was going high. Uh, it was going um, high as 840 and then it was bouncing towards the 790 area and I thought it would act as some su support so I thought it would act as support and the uh, 13 EMA here so I went ahead and went long with my risk at that uh, support uh, so it, it ended up in it uh, it failed to break out here um, for the next leg up so it ended up stopping me out for like a $50 loss there um, and then I saw it coming back and holding this uh, support at 790 again so I went ahead and took uh, another position there along again um, hoping it would uh, break out this time right here uh, it, you see a little wick there uh, there was a slight volume coming up but not enough for him to push it back up so that took me out for another uh, loss there when it broke the 790 so I ended up finding this stock uh, for a couple of time um, which I should have done and usually in the morning I'm not really so great at it since the pattern hasn't really been really clear lately um, so the other position I did was um, I did a short a short here and I added to my position for the VWAP break here uh, and the 50 EMA because it was holding here uh, it ended up pushing down a little bit but I didn't take any profit because um, I thought it would go down more after this retest break here um, and you could kind of see a little cup and handle but it, it didn't complete the inverted uh, cup and handle here and it continued higher so there was a, a long long setup here which kind of broke out uh, this flag and continue higher um, it went all the way up to the high of 850 and then 885 afterwards but um, the trades here kind of chopped me out and stopped out for um, for the day and it went over my max loss um, which was over 200 so uh, I didn't play any other tickers but um, I feel feel like my weakness is playing early mornings and I'm usually uh, better at uh, late day fades um, which I should stick to or a really high probable setup and not get into uh, setups too early or predicting setups um, but yeah that's all I have for today and the the main thing I want to improve on is um, yeah be more patient and look for more high probable setups and not play um, you know the 13 EMA bounce which is not my go to strategy uh, it should be more like retesting like, this would have been a good uh, buy here but it didn't have volume but um, but yeah the big play was this. Uh, this long consolidation and around yeah seven seven thirty, and that's 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 really the time where it uh, breaks out around seven thirty, or ten ten thirty um, Eastern time. Um, yeah, uh, thank you for watching, guys, um, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.